Hey guys, what's going on? Evelyn here. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So guys, I'm here on the PTR and I just wanted to show you guys something before I get into the discussion about survival. So basically, I'm going to show you guys CC chain and there's going to be other reason around this. I'm going to tell you the reason after I've done the CC chain. But basically what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be showing you guys a CC chain which is going to last somewhere between 19 to 20 seconds. Which is going to be consistently just myself. Nobody else helped me, nobody doing anything in the CC chain other than me and it will basically show you how broken Marksman is. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to get Marksman there. I'm just saying that survival needs more than what it currently has, which I'll talk about in a moment. But let's get straight into it. So basically the CC chain is going to consist of a few things. It's going to consist of my binding shot and then my frozen arrow, my freezing trap and then finally my bursting shot which is going to last for about 20 seconds, insane. I'm going to tell this guy to move once I put stun down. Alright, so I'm going to throw my binding shot down. And let's see, wait, wait, he moves. Yeah, he got stunned. Get my frozen armor after that. I'm just going to CC him again. Out of this, I'm going to use my trap on him, which will CC him for another 4 seconds. Out of that, which is more CC. And then out of that, I'm going to use my bursting shot, uh, which I think lasts for another 4 seconds. And as you see, he's been CC'd pretty much for a full 20 seconds which is insane i have to say it's insane man but if i switch to survival you'll see what the difference is in cc chain because they're giving all traps to all hunters they're giving it to beastmaster and marksman which i think was a bad choice but maybe my beastmaster needed it but marksman definitely did not need an cc but anyways that being said beastmaster has a stun and a trap now also has slows which makes all survival slows mean nothing. But Marksman has slows and two forms of traps, a stun and also a bursting shot. All melees in the game have a stun, but for some reason the turret hunter spec survival doesn't have a stun. We have a stupid thing called sticky bomb. What is this thing? Why does it only knock down for like literally half a second? It's not even worth your while doing anything with it. The only CC we currently have, as it stands right now, is Freezing Trap. Now you could say we do have Roots, but Roots don't really matter as a melee. If you try to hit something when it breaks that effects on damage, it breaks on damage. That's the whole point of this thing not being great for a melee. It breaks on damage and it replaces Wing Clip. Anyways, what I was trying to say is we only have two Roots. Basically that Ranger's Net and Tracker's Net, which is our only form of CC as it currently stands. So basically as it, as it stands right now, as a melee we don't have any stun which kind of really gimps us quite a bit, but I'll show you it in a second. Okay so I'm going to be doing a rogue in a second here, I'm basically going to show you guys that as it currently stands survival only has really one form of CC, we could say we have root but ranger's net and <laughs> tracker's net aren't really a CC because the only melee that in the game, to be honest the only class in the game that really suffers from root is warriors. Most of the class have a way of getting out of roots and all that good stuff, so we won't really have a trap. Whereas Beastmaster has stun and trap, and Marksman has trap, freezing arrow, and then they also have bursting shot, and they also have a uh, stun, which kind of makes survival fall a little bit behind. So I'm going to trap this guy, he's going to trink it, and then you're going to see that I won't be able to kind of pressure him afterwards. Alright, so I'm going to trap him now, he's going to trink it here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to just harpoon in, put my roots on him, pop on my stun, check this, pop my freedom, sprint, and all that good stuff. Harpoon him with my damage in here. I stun me full. I'm going to faint that out of this. I'm going to hit myself, ruin him in place. I have to shell because he's done that. Put my explosive trap down. Uh, throw a tower trap down, it's long. Flare up. And I'm going to try my best. He's going to probably vanish up here. Uh, try, to, try to survive a bit here. We got a full blind. Uh, not sure what he's gonna do all this. Uh, full kidney here shot here. I can't do much. I'm not gonna sack or anything. And I'm dead. As you see, I wasn't really able to punish him too much because of the simple fact that I don't have a stun, and he was able to, easily able to trinket my trap without any problems of worrying about any sort of repercussions from doing it. So that's my whole point, guys. I'm just trying to prove that survival does need. An extra form of CC, even like I said, they even remove this route and give us a stun in case of actually having this. Because I really feel survival needs some form of CC, like I said, 
kind of make the spec feel a bit more like a melee like it should all the melees have a stun and we currently don't so yeah guys that was my whole point of this video hopefully um this will listen a bit and just point out the fact that the other two specs have a lot more cc and survival is probably supposed to be more of a cc spec than all the three of them to be honest but yeah anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you probably agree with me or if you don't agree with me let me know in the comments i really really appreciate that but as always guys this is evan i love you all take care and i'll see you guys in the next one